What's so great about Ivis? G- give me your pitch. I mean, why should I and our listeners be using Ivis on every intervention? Well, you know, that, so that's a great question. And, you know, of course, that's a, a, a been a big topic for me uh, for about five years or so. Uh, you know, there's a big picture and maybe a small picture, uh, as I think it's been described on, on multiple occasions. You know, from the, the big picture standpoint, you know, the way that we uh, attack peripheral vascular disease and certainly our precision when we do it is certainly lacking at this point. Uh, you know, my attitude has always been you know, just like NASA, I think that they're able to land on the moon. God knows what the percentage is. But just imagine if they said, well, hey, we're doing a good enough job. We'll just keep doing what we've been doing. Well, you know, peripheral vascular disease, certainly, uh, you know, there's a different challenge there. And always opportunities and always innovations that are helping us to do uh, these interventions better and get more durable outcomes. I think that IVIS is really that, uh, you know, the key and kind of the bridge uh, between, you know, the diagnosis, what you're seeing on, uh, on imaging, and then whether or not you, you know, how you're going to treat it, and then whether or not you actually got what you uh, said that you want to do done. And so that's kind of the big picture, you know, how do we uh, look at these interventions and, and get a more durable result? Um, how can we, again, quantify that uh, with mm-hmm. data, which is obviously one of the biggest, uh, maybe misgivings and one of the reasons why people aren't using it so far, you know, that, that kind of is the, 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 the important big picture. When you start looking at the small picture in the individual cases, you know, one of the important things that, uh, you know, we always look at vessel diameter and what is actually going on inside the vessel and how do we need to treat it. I think that, you know, the big thing that we're missing is the lesion length. And I, I think we'll get into this a little bit later on. But, mm-hmm. you know, where exactly is that lesion starting and where does it end? And that, you know, how does that uh, become a reference as to, you know, how we end up treating uh, what we see? Uh, I would argue that everything that we do is trying to bridge from normal vessel to normal, normal vessel. And so, you know, understanding everything between and making sure that our interventions aren't, uh, aren't having an effect on those areas in between and not connecting normal vessel, I think is vital to what we do. And that so far, you know, intravascular ultrasound has been an outstanding modality to be able to, to, to see that uh, in specific. 